Hey guys, it's me, Dave. I'm using my old phone again, or my new phone, but it's a cheapy, uh, so um, I'm just getting used to it. Uh, so anyway, I thought I'd do a video. It's uh, 6-12-2021, Saturday night. I'm sitting here having a couple drinks, trying to relax a little bit. Um, it hasn't been too bad of a day, you know, to be honest with you. Um, uh, it hasn't been too bad of a day. Um, you know, there's some things I want to talk about, um, but, uh, so, um, I got out a couple times today, you know, you gotta get out, you, you know, you gotta get out once a day, at least, uh, go for a walk, go on a trail, go for a mountain bike ride, you gotta do something to clear your head out a little bit, you know, it clears your head out, you know, cause not, not, you know, not everyone's involved. They want to make it look like there's a thousand people involved. But if you go on a trail, like a, like a, um, we have a Munger Trail. Uh, it's, uh, you know, paved trail for bikes and all this stuff. They want to make it look like everyone's there involved. There may be, you know, two or three, four people involved. But not everyone is involved in this, you know. They don't know what's going on, you know. Anyway, I'll talk about the perps later. So anyway, um, you know, Brian Tuesday hopped on the call and he's talking all this stuff. Uh, you know, um, he says you have to justify the, or they have to justify their uh, surveillance. They don't. Uh, you're talking about the CIA, all right? We are the most powerful country in the world. And the CIA is the most powerful agency in the world. They don't have to justify shit. The CIA doesn't have to... They don't have to justify shit. Okay? When some of these... It, according to Kevin Shipp, former CIA... When they go to a country, especially a poor country, all right, they're treated like gods, all right. You know, you're talking about the CIA, the most powerful agency in the world. They don't have to justify their surveillance. They can do whatever they want. And these countries have to obey. And I'll tell you something, you know, some of these, I've seen videos where, where, where uh, some of these TIs were, were uh, being, uh, you know, in a police station and all this stuff. You could tell they're acting. You could tell the police are acting, all right? You know, 80% 80, 80 of this is a PSYOP, you guys. It's a PSYOP. You know, they're not, they're not saying we're a big drug dealer and we're, we're you know, we're being surveilled and by the CIA and all this stuff. We're a rapist. They're not saying that stuff. You know, they're not. They know a little bit what's going on. They're not saying all this stuff. They're not saying we're a big drug dealer and we need to surveil this guy. That's a PSYOP. Psychological warfare. People don't understand that, you know. They showed me in my program. They showed me. So 80, 90% of this program is a PSYOP. If you, if you can't tell the difference between that, you're too deep in. You're too deep in. You don't understand what's going on. You know, like, like Duncan's book says... They want to keep you a victim of this crime all the time. They want to keep you a victim. I'm not a victim. I'm a survivor. That's me. You know, I'm not a victim. I'm not going to lay down and be victimized by these people. I'm a survivor. I fight. You know, I'm a survivor. Okay, so let me talk about perps for a minute. Because we had some perps in the neighborhood. They think they're king shit. They think their shit don't stink and all this stuff. Um, they try to do things to... Um, uh, well, how do I put this? They, they try to do things to... Try to have power over you, alright? It's psychological. It's psych psychological warfare. Okay? 
they want to think they have power over you, right? These low-level perps, all right? I'll tell you something. Okay, so people in the neighborhood are not very good people, all right? Uh, some of them sold drugs to little girls in the neighborhood. You don't sell drugs. You think the government gives a shit about these people? They don't give a shit about these people. They're using these people. They're useful idiots. They don't give a shit about you. You know? They don't give a shit about these, about these low-level people, right? They're using them. They're, they're just objects. You know, they're, they're using them, you know, as a, you know, as a whatever. They don't care about them. You know, if these people think they're not going to be next someday, they're fooling themselves. They're going to be next someday, right? You know, you think, you think that what you're so valuable, what, what, you think they like you, uh, they want to invite you over for dinner or what? They don't give a shit about you. The government does not give a shit about you perps. You low-level perps. Take advantage of the perks now. Because they don't give a shit about you. They're going to toss you away. They're going to toss you away like nothing. And you are nothing. You know? These people have low self-esteem. They get off on torturing and, and making themselves feel powerful psychological it's all psychological you guys you know oh it just it annoys me because these people think they're king shit they're not they're not i got p big people in my program they don't give a shit about these drug addicts drug dealers people that hurt kids and all this stuff they don't care about them you know if they think they're worth something they're stupid you know Go get some self-esteem and, uh, you know, and whatever. Get back to society. They don't get back to society. They don't get back to society in their whole damn life. They take advantage of people. You know, and the government doesn't give a shit about these people. They have millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars into us. In my program, anyway. You know, who's worth more, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. Um, kind of going into a place I don't, I don't want to go. Anyway, uh, so you know, this is up, you guys. Sigh up. You know, just remember that. Anyway, uh, I care for you guys, and uh, I hope you stay safe. And I'll talk to you later.